Hi, everyone. Thank you for attending the presentation. I'm Jenwei Zhang, a PhD student from Arizona State University. I'm directed by Dr. Surin Javasuria and Dr. Visabrisha. Our conference paper's topic is restoring degree of speech via a modified diffusion model. Many deterministic mathematical methods are used in the speech signal processing, such as compression algorithm, downsampling, clipping, also including the machine learning networks, such as autoencoders for speech style transformation. All these deterministic mathematical methods degrade the processed speech quality. It is important and needed to restore or enhance the degraded speech for some downstream applications, such as speech recognition. Our goal in this paper is to restore the degraded speech from such lossy deterministic transformations. We focused on three classic, classic loss transformations in our study, which are LPC10 compression, adaptive multi-rate narrowband compression, and clipping. There are different methods to restore the speech quality. One major pathway is using traditional signal processing methods, such as statistical model, spectral subtraction, winner filtering. These methods are workable for additive background noise, but in our scenario, the speech information is lost during lossy transformation. So the traditional way is not useful in our application. Another major way is using machine learning methods, such as diffusion probabilistic model, unit with adversarial loss. These machine learning methods are workable in our scenario as they can recreate the lost information. Some machine learning modcoders, such as DeepWave and LPCNet, can synthesize the speech in high efficiency and high quality. So we try to train the vocoder in a supervised fashion to restore the degraded speech. In this paper, we use the DeepWave as the baseline model. It's a diffusion probabilistic model vocoder. It has state-of-the-art synthesized speech quality, relatively short synthesized time, and a small parameter set. The left figure shows the original application procedure of DeepWave. They use the original speech to generate the, uh, to estimate the original speech. A well-trained DeepWave can have good estimation of original speech waveform based on the input male spectrum. To achieve the goal of restoring degree of speech, we change the original waveform training procedure as shown in the red figure. We let the DeepWave to estimate the original speech from the degraded speech male spectrum. But this simple modification only achieves a minor recovery of the original speech. We noticed that conditional, which generated by the upsampler from input spe male spectrum, plays a very important role in DeepWave. The original upsampler is limited as shown in the left figure. It's only contain it's only contain two layers of 2D convolutional transpose layer with one channel. It does ha not have good uh, enough capacity to provide good conditional for synthesized original speech from the degraded speech male spectrum. So we stacked multiple CN layers and convolutional transpose layers to form a deep CN upsampler. The structure of the deep CN upsampler is shown in the red figure. The new upsampler has enough capacity, but after several experiments, we found that we modified the uh, we found that the modified upsampler cannot be trained well if directly changing the original upsampler and the training in the null procedure. So we also modified the training procedure to improve the model performance. We firstly trained a standard DeepWave model in original setup to get a reference upsampler. This reference upsampler will be used for training a deep CNN upsampler 
as shown in the figure two. We use the higher original and the degree speech for training. The reference of some uh, conditioner is generated by the reference of sampler with original speech male spectrum input. And uh, the estimated conditioner is generated by the deep up sampler with degree speech male spectrum input. We train the up uh, we train the deep CN up sampler by matching the estimated and the reference conditioner. To restore the degree speech of the inferencing procedure, the degree of the speech male spectrum is passed through the deep CN up sampler and goes to the remaining deep wave vocoder architecture to get the restored uh, speech. By using this modification, we solve the problem of that the deep CN up sampler is hard to be trained in original setup. And it's also benefits for shortening the training time. It takes on about 48 hours on one Titan XP GPU to train a whole train a whole different model, but we only need six hours to train a deep CN up sampler. Our design can be adapted to a new application easily. For the experiment setup, we totally run three lossy transformations in this paper, which are LPC10 compression, adaptive multi-rate narrowband compression, and clipping. Our baseline model is the unmodified diff wave model, which trained by conditioning on degree speech male spectrum to generate the original speech. There are two corpora are used in this paper, the timid dataset and the Mozilla data, common voice English dataset. The timid dataset is already yes, split into training and the testing dataset. So we use as training and the incorporate evaluation dataset correspondingly. So Mozilla common voice English dataset is used as cross corpus evaluation dataset. We have five evaluation metrics, PESQ, CSIG, CPAK, and the COVL are more traditional ones, which are correlated with speech quality. The form voltage perceptual loss, PSP loss, is correlated with the intelligibility. Here are the audio results of our methods on recovering the quality of LPC-10 compressed speech. This is the original speech. She had your dark suit in greasy wash water all year. This is LPC-10 compressed speech. She had your dark suit in greasy wash water all year. Then is the baseline model restored speech. She had your dark suit in greasy wash water all year. Next, our modified if we restore speech. She had your dark suit in greasy wash water all year. Our modified if we restore speech has a obvious, uh, has better quality than the baseline model. This figure shows the spectrum results. First one is the original speech. Second one is the AMRNB compressed speech. Due to the low pass filter, the high frequency information is lost after compression. The third one is a baseline model, a modified deep wave restore speech. And the fourth one is our modified deep wave restore speech. It is obvious that our modified deep wave model can recover more information in high frequency band. This table shows the quantitative results of in corpus and cross corpus evaluation of baseline model and our modified deep wave model. The top half part is in corpus evaluation and the bottom half part is cross corpus evaluation. Our modified deep wave model outperforms the unmodified deep wave in all experiments and all metrics significantly with p-value smaller than 0.05 by doing t-test. Please notice that the cross-corpus results, the unmodified if wave model cannot 
restore the speech quality. But our modified model still can restore the degraded speech. This result shows that our deep CN sampler indeed learned how to revert the lossy deterministic mathematical transformations based on degraded speech male spectrum. We also perform a subjective evaluation on the model performance with 18 listeners. We use AB preference test to compare the baseline model and our modified display model. For each listening test set, total 15 pairs of original and restored speech samples were generated randomly from teammate testing data set. Five pairs for each experiment. We ensure the same spoken sentence is not used twice in any pairs in one listening test set. The order of samples present is also unknown. Uh, the listener are instructed to select the sample with better quality without any prior knowledge. No one heard the generated samples before. The figure shows the AB preference test results. Our modified if we restore speech has better quality than baseline model significantly, with p value smaller than 0 0.001 by doing t-test. For the conclusion, in this paper, we propose a modified if we for superior quality restoration from distorted and lossy speech. Our method can restore the degree of speech generated by deterministic mathematical lossy transformations. And the performance is better than the unmodified if we model in extensive in corpus, cross corpus, and subjective perceptual evaluations. Our proposed deep CN upsampler learns the information about reverting the loss transformations. Our future direction on this work will focus on extending this scheme to scenarios where the transformation is stochastic. For example, the noise, the noises, speech. Here's the reference list uh, using uh, this slide. Thank you.